happy new year to everyone and with the beginning of this new year we'll be starting new beginnings so we'll start from scratch how to prepare for neat pg for 2026 hello i'm dr rmd and i have last 3 years of experience making strategies for neat pg and i was all india rank 838 in my 2022 neat pg attempt and i have completed my md pediatrics from pgmr rml hospital new delhi so today i'll be guiding you on how to prepare exactly for neat pg 2026 in the next 6 months so this circular was released yesterday that was on 29th of december that is uh, uh, that doesn't show neat pg in any of these dates so you'll see that up to 28th Jan- uh, june 2026 dates have been released but neat pg is not mentioned so we can safely assume that neat pg will be somewhere held during mid july or maybe in the beginning of the august so what are the two main challenges if you want to prepare for neat pg and crack exam in next 6 months what are the two main strategies the two main rules that you need to follow is one with respect to time and second is with respect to content so these these are the two hanging balances so time you have exactly 180 days so far till 28 june there are no more exam so we'll safely assume that we have 180 days at least and then we have lot of content to cover also so first we'll see time how to manage time okay so totally you have 180 days 50% will be dedicating for preparation phase that is first 90 days that is first 3 months till march 31 will be your preparation phase and then after that till june end or till neat page date is announced till then will be our revision phase and we'll be covering three sets of revision in this okay so what will be the uh, crude timeline till dates are announced from january 1 to march 31 we have three months of preparation phase and till may 15 for 45 days we have first revision note that this ini ct will be somewhere around may second week okay uh, so it will mostly overlap uh, with our first revision so this here will be keeping a few days for ini ct based preparation only then second and third revision will continue after that okay so how should your day look like it should be exactly like this okay this is the ideal timetable that i give daily for my daily mentorship session which i conduct daily live youtube mentorship session where i daily guide students so, so we had started in the month of november november 20 so november 20 till uh, december uh, 30 we have completed almost 40 days okay so this is how it looks like daily you wake up at 6:30 am and then one and half an hour you will be dedicating for some uh, topic which i have given in this these are specific for mentorship schedule only okay so this is basically how your schedule should look like and if you note here there is times for uh, uh, power nap there is time for exercise and dinner to uh, like uh, two hours okay so it should uh, and also there is time for videos also and there is time for mcqs also so this is an ideal timetable how it should look like and i'll also give you the exact timetable also okay so if you want to join my live mentorship session you are welcome link is in the comment section and description of this video you can join okay so uh, what content to choose so we have seen things with respect to time now next is with respect to content so there are so many content that is available one is main videos if you watch main videos your concepts will be very strong if you watch rapid revision it will be concise and you will be able to revise q bank you will have touch of mcqs if you are watching pearls uh, going through pearls then you will have one liners if you have custom modules you can practice mcqs well and then btr is there you can finish in last 10 days so the problem is when so much content is there and you have just 180 days left and in that also you have just 90 days for preparation and just 90 days for revision what exact content should you read is the main question now nothing else with respect to time what content you should read what is the best source and for that i have made a concise uh, uh, like uh, uh, explanation okay so what you need to understand this point of time is you will think that okay six months are left i can aram se do videos if i uh, start like today 10 hours if i watch video in the next like uh, 200 day 180 days i'll be able to complete videos and then i'll be able to finish revision you are exactly wrong or if you are thinking anyways 180 days are there i'll do btr five revisions then uh, everything will be done uh, i can like get a rank of like within uh, 10000 you are exactly wrong that is where everyone goes wrong because you don't understand the fund fundamental concept the fundamental concept of hanging balances that is on one side you have content and concept so content is on one side and the other side is time if you go more content you won't have time if you uh, go for less content you will have more time but your concepts won't be strong so you need to balance both so content is inversely proportional to time and second point content is inversely proportional to retention also so there is one more factor which comes to play here that is one is time and the second is what is your iq how much can you have retention because what i have seen is the mistake of students which i when i talk to students many students tell me the same thing that i read main notes i read whole of q bank i did it uh, like 70% i completed but then i couldn't go ahead with revision because it was there was too much to uh, retain so retention was the problem i couldn't remember things like i couldn't revise it three or four times so then i switched to btr then that preparation was half on because i started late and then you know, some of them will be like sir i read btr three to four times but still i was not able to understand concepts so i was not able to solve questions so all these things are the problem which students face in real time and i know this because i talk to students i have been talk- talking to thousands of students since last uh, uh, three Yes. So now 
you will see in the videos also like you will see some um, coaching platform videos from 1 lakh to rank of 2000 how is this possible if this student can do then i also can do within one year one student has gone from this rank to this rank so uh, let me tell you something straightforward if you are starting fresh okay if you don't have any foundation this doesn't hold true because these were not the students who didn't had a strong base they were the students who already had a good base during mbbs during internship they didn't study much and then uh, one year when they sat and studied okay they're already concept was strong so for them reading q bank reading uh, watching uh, reading from notes or solving uh, Q, uh, entire Q bank or solving entire custom models all that didn't make any difference anyways they were going to get this rank only it was just that gap during internship which, ha which had helped them also there were some students who had a lot of time like they had time of one year one and a half a year one and a half year so they sat okay they sat they studied main videos they cleared their concepts and they, then they went for the revision source and they revised and they cleared exam those are these students but you right now don't have one important factor that is time so in 180 days which is the best source to read I have made this table so I have uh, used four criteria four criteria one is completion how much are you able to complete in a given amount of time? Second is revisability. How many times can you revise the same topic from that source? Third is if you read from that source, how much is your retention? How much will you be able to remember? And fourth is with the content, whatever you're reading, how well is your MCQ solving skill? So with these, I have created a score wise system. Okay. So let's see for main videos. Main videos is completion. You won't be able to complete everything if you read main videos. Revise also you won't. Many of them won't be able to revise unless you are started in third year or fourth year. Otherwise you can't. Retention will be there. That is because concepts, your concepts will be slightly strong. So you'll retain, you have, you'll have some sort of retention, but it won't be full retention. And problem solving, yes, you can solve most of the MCQs, but unless you have QBank backup, you won't be able to solve majority. So my point system is three is for excellent, okay, and two is for uh, average, and one is for very poor. Okay, so coming to QBank, you won't be able to complete unless you have strong thorough basic in your uh, be, uh, like uh, this one okay? because you want to watch videos. Now, revisability, you can't revise the entire QBank again and again. Okay, retention, yes, retention will be better because you're solving MCQs and problem solving will be best if you solve MCQs, but still you're getting only six and seven. Now, what about pearls and various tables that you have? Some of you will tell us there are only 2000 pearls, I'll read all the pearls, so it will be definitely done. So, yes, your completion you can do, you can revise also, but what about retention? Pearls have very less poor retention capacity because they are just blank knowledge and problem solving will also be there. Still, pearls are uh, almost equivalent to QBank only. Okay. Now comes the game changer. Now comes the game changer. See these two things: rapid revision and PYQs. This rapid revision is and PYQs both you can complete. Completability is not a problem. Completion is not a problem. You can revise it again and again. So revisability is all not also not a problem. Retention with rapid revision you can retain have retention up to some because you are watching videos and you are also seeing notes. But PYQs your retention is less because. You are uh, you are uh, solving questions from a smaller pool. So if a question is asked from outside, you may not be able to retain have a retention of that much uh, content. Okay, problem solving will be better in PYQs as compared to rapid revision. So just reading, see that uh, a very important point to note here. Just reading rapid revision is not going to take you anywhere for problem solving because you won't be able to solve MCQ just by using uh, rapid revision. That is what I'm telling you. See, Maro uh, recently launched a rapid uh, uh, revision world, revision world RW. Okay, so uh, I got many queries. Sir, can I read only rapid revision world? Will I get uh, rank of less than ten thousand? My direct answer is no because you are not solving problems at all you are not solving questions at all where are your mcqs so that's why the highest scoring among all these is rapid revision and pyq and that is why these both which we can complete also and we can revise also which see whatever retention is not possible in pyqs that will be covered by rapid revision videos and whatever problem solving which is not there with rapid revision that will be covered by pyqs when you go to custom model some of you tell that sir i'll solve custom models you give me custom model id but what is the problem with custom model your revisability becomes a problem and your retention is also a problem because you don't know exactly what to read when you're reading custom model and what about btr btr completion and Revisibility, I have given full three marks. But what about retention and problem solving? You can't because BTA doesn't help you solve MCQs and it doesn't help you understand concept. That is very important because most of you will think that if I revise BTR again and again, if I revise five times, I'll be able to solve more questions. No, you are not able to go for retention because you don't have concepts. And because BTR is a subset of revision notes, rapid revision subset is BTR. So many people ask me, do I have to what if I do RR and BTR together? Again, I'll tell there is no point at all because BTR is again a subset of RR. Why do you want to do a source which is already there in rapid revision? Now, which rapid revision? It can be of cerebellum, it can be of dams, it can be of prep ladder, it can be of marrow, any rapid revision. Rapid revision has more content compared to BTR. Now, if you read only BTR, for last moment, you will get up to maybe 100 correct. But if you want to go more than 100 correct, you need concepts. You need some MCQ solving skills. You need some more content than BTR. And that is where every student fails to understand. What is this 900 topics on NEET PG? For that, you need to subscribe to my channel and you'll be knowing in the next video. Now, which is the best resource? Best resource is rapid revision videos plus notes and then followed by PYQs. Now, next question is, sir, if I read rapid revision plus PYQs, how many correct will I get? So my direct answer is we'll get up to 140 correct after three revision. Don't think that one revision you do everything, just rapid revision and PYQs, you will get no. If you do three revisions, you will get up to 140 correct, definitely. If you follow everything to the point, because if, and if you compare with last year's NEET PG 2025, marks of around 140 is equal to almost 20,000 rank, which will definitely give you a seat 
may may not be of your choice but will be a second or third choice of seat you will definitely get because this year at 20000 rank people have got anesthesia which is a clinical branch for unreserved category in top government medical college in the states okay so 20000 rank is a good rank what i feel and up to 140 coming should be your target to be in a safety zone now for few people will be like i want to go from 120 to 140 140 is not enough for me i want to go above 140 i want to be in the safer zone of 140 to 160 so what should i do if you want to go more than 140 again you need some extra content and what is that extra content q bank and tables or pearls now what is the problem with tables and pearls there are many q bank modules and there are many pearls 2000 pearls now to make it work easy i have compiled a list so this is a list this is not tables and q bank modules per se this is a list of those topics which you need to learn which are very very important and which i use for my preparation which help me to jump from correct response of 108 to correct response of 161 in neat pg in 6 months so these were those tables and uh, uh, q bank modules okay pearls so if you want this you can go to the link given in the description you can buy it okay next Next question that uh, frequently students ask me is, I read RR three times, but still I'm getting JT correct of less than hundred. Why? The simplest explanation is you are not solving PYQs. So that's why RR plus PYQ plus important pearls, okay, important pearls and Q bank modules will definitely give you more than one hundred and fifty to one hundred and sixty. No doubt in that. And this is possible in the next one eighty days. I'll tell you how. Very important before that is if you have if you are watching my video for the first time and if you are not subscribed do subscribe because I have been doing this for a quite a long amount of time and this is the sixth episode in NEET PG 2026 series if you haven't watched the previous ones go back and watch. So what should be an ideal timetable for next six months for next NEET PG? In my first video that is episode one which was released on November 20 I had given this timetable. So those who are following this timetable I tell you what to follow next. Okay and those who are new to the channel those who are seeing this video for the first time. I have given a separate timetable for you guys. Okay, so this is the timetable for those that we had followed. We had already completed pharmac, psychiatry, surgery, ophthal, OBG, ENT, micro and dermat. So those who are attending my live mentorship sessions have definitely completed this. That is the advantage of joining live mentorship sessions because daily I give timetable. I take accountability. I take even attendance. I mark attendance and I mark absent for chronic absentees. I have issued warning also that I'll remove them from mentorship session if they don't join. Okay, so. Uh, This timetable we had followed, and those who had joined from November 20, even after that, also I had modified timetable for timetable for them. So for those people also, I had made sure that they finished these uh, eight subjects. So those who attended my live mentorship session have already finished all these eight subjects. Okay, but. Uh, this uh, so, sorry this is the timetable for those people who have already finished six eight subjects okay so these are the eight subjects and for next eleven subject this is the timetable okay so take a screenshot of this now what about those people who are going to join from today or after January so those people will be so you are starting mentorship session from pre previously only so we are joining like what for us or I don't want to join mentorship session but I want to know what time I should dedicate for these subjects so this is the timetable for you guys for next ninety days of preparation phase. Okay, take that screen screenshot of this. Okay, I'm not going to explain this in detail. By 28th March, we'll be completing entire syllabus. And this, whatever I have mentioned, no, this is rapid revision plus PYQs. Got it? Every subject rapid revision plus PYQs. If you follow this, within March 28th, you'll be able to cover whole topic, and you'll get a three days extra buffer time also to cover whatever is left. And then from April 1, we'll go with the revision phase. Okay? So there are some complicated things. Some people will be like, I have been preparing from last one or years, two years, and uh, like I don't know what exactly to prepare. So there will be a lot of complicated things because I like to take up such challenges. If you see my mentorship uh, program also, many people will be ones who have lost track, like they don't know what to prepare and they want accountability. Okay? That is that. the basis of mentorship program also some people want to directly talk to me like sir i want to once talk to you you just understand my problem only then uh, i want to talk to someone regarding my problem and then only i want uh, uh, i can get a solution like talking chatting on whatsapp and uh, like in youtube comments is not enough so for those people for those people uh, For those people, uh, there is one-to-one -one guidance session. There is one one-to-one -one consultation. Okay, so I'll be talking to you over Google Meet in this. So you can book slots. It is available. Uh, link is in the comment and description section. Okay, you can go below and you can book your slot also, and you can directly have uh, talk to me. Okay, you can directly talk to me, and you can reach out to me in through various sources. Okay, but I'll be readily available. One is on email. Okay, and the second uh, uh, will be I think uh, through one-to-one -one consultation. These two are the easiest sources for you to reach to me. And then Instagram, Telegram, uh, it depends. Like it might take one day or two days depending on my availability. Ability will be able to approach me. So finally, I would like to conclude by saying one thing. Today is January one, and uh, uh, new year begins. So with the new year, you should start a new beginning also. So leave everything. So nobody can go back. You can't go back and start a new beginning. But you can start now. You can start now, and you can change your ending. Okay. So this is also a very famous dialogue from Kung Fu Panda, where uh, the uh, Kung Fu Panda Part Two, where uh, uh, that uh, old granny, okay, she tells uh, Po that uh, you may not have a happy beginning, but that is not who you are. Uh, so it is you who decide uh, how your end to the story will be. So you have time 
you have resources i provide you direction so just go ahead with it there is nothing to lose and if you have any doubts you can go through this parts uh, there are total five episodes i have released priorly go through it and just excel okay so all the best